we have two shoulder triggers. This thing right here, Illuminati confirmed once again. And if you're wondering about these crazy events right here, by the way, if you want to see all my videos about the Red Magic 6 smartphone, then just type in Chris Viral Red Magic 6 in the YouTube search, hit enter and you will find tons and tons of videos. Initiating. Welcome back. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Monday in our day in our chance to push out and the topic for this vlog is a specs overview features and my first impressions of the Red Magic 6. So let's get it. By the way, all the product reviews right here, watch them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my love special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. If you want to know more about the setup, then check out my last vlog right here. And now let's get to all the specs deep dive and let's go. Here we go, the biggest source was GSM Arena. Release date was March 2021 on a global level. Price is 599 bucks. Measurements, weight is 220 grams. Build is aluminum frame with a glass back and also a glass front, of course. Operating system is Red Magic 4.0 based on Android 11. We have the Qualcomm SM5350 chipset with the Snapdragon 888 processor. So we have one 2.84 gigahertz CPU core for that single core performance. We have three 2.42 gigahertz cores and we also have four times 1.8 gigahertz cores. All of them are Cryo 680s. We have the Adreno 660 CPU, 12 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of UFS 3.1 storage. We have the fingerprint sensor under the display. We also have the accelerometer, gyroscope, orientation, proximity compass, ambient light and magnetometer. The battery is a non-removable. It's a rechargeable 5050 milliamp hour LiPo battery. And the unique selling points, it's obviously made for high performance gaming. It has a huge display, 10 bit color depth, a game changing refresh rate of 165 hertz, crazy high touch sampling rates. We're talking 500 hertz, single touch and multi touch 360 hertz. It has an active cooling solution. It has touch sensitive shoulder triggers, RGB lighting on the back, fast charging and a dedicated switch that activates the game mode. Moving on to connectivity. Yes, this is a 5G phone. So we have 2G, 3G, 4G, 5G bands. We have Wi-Fi 6, dual band of course, Wi-Fi direct hotspot. We have Bluetooth 5.1. Also NFC, it says yes, but I'm not sure about that. NFC tools, the app does not recognize an NFC module and positioning, of course, GPS, AGPS, GLONASS, Baidu and Galileo. Moving on to the audio section, earpiece, yes, it's a mono speaker on the front side. We have a stereo speaker. There is a speaker at the bottom and it's also utilizing the earpiece as a loudspeaker. So if you're wondering, there is no speaker grill on top. Nope, it's earpiece. We have a triple microphone setup with active noise cancellation. The display is 6.8 inches in diameter around 85% screen to body ratio the resolution is 1080p times 2400 20 to 9 ratio 387 ppi and up to 165 hertz refresh rate it's an amoled display with corning gorilla glass i have no idea about the version and the typical brightness is 630 nits moving on to the main camera we have a triple camera module the main camera which is a wide lens basically we have a 64 megapixel sensor up to 1.8 aperture this is a 26 millimeter equivalent focal length, best photo setting 64 megapixels and best video setting 8K at 30 FPS. It can also do 4K at 60. It can do autofocus, macro, infinity and the features are electronic image stabilization, digital zoom, LED flash and more. For the secondary camera, which is an ultra wide camera, this features an 8 megapixel sensor, 2.2 aperture. It's equivalent to a 13 millimeter ultra wide lens, best photo setting 4.8 megapixels, but the focus mode is just fixed and the feature is only digital zoom. Moving on to the tertiary camera, which is a macro camera, just a 2 megapixel sensor, 2.4 aperture, best photo setting, 2 megapixels, and it's also fixed focus and also just digital zoom. The front camera features an 8 megapixel sensor, 2.0 aperture, best photo setting 8 megapixels and best video setting 1080p at 30 fps. By the way, the other two cameras, secondary and tertiary camera, they cannot record videos. And the focus mode is also fixed on this one. And lastly, ports, slots, buttons and indicators. We have USB 3.0 Type-C for data and charging, also USB OTG. The phone has a power button, a volume rocker, a dedicated game mode, 
switch and two capacitive shoulder buttons. The SIM is a dual SIM on a single tray, so you can insert two SIMs on a single tray, which means on both sides. You can insert two nano SIMs, it's dual standby, but you cannot extend the storage. Well, my first impression is that I'm very impressed. It feels so heavy. I just didn't expect it. Maybe it's all, all of that glass on the backside. And it has this nice curve to it. Can you see it? And it feels high-end premium to the max. <laughs> it's crazy. Up here we have a very slim earpiece. Then we have the light and proximity sensors. This button right here, this little switch is a dedicated game boost mode. We have a volume rocker right here. The fingerprint sensor is somewhere here underneath the display. Oh by the way I missed the front camera. It's this little thing on the right upper side. And now check this out. We have two shoulder triggers this thing right here and you can press this this is a capacitive button right here also look at that that is a nice touch the flash is actually a little triangle illuminati confirmed once again this can't be a coincidence then right here we have a triple camera module another triangle up here up here we have the headphone jack and the noise reduction microphone and if you're wondering about these crazy vents right here one right here and the other one right here so these are actually these are not speakers, these are these are the air vents. This one right here is the inlet and this other one is the outlet. I have never seen something like this, a phone with active cooling. This is completely crazy, I love it. Anyways, moving on, we have the power button right here. This is the power button. And this little hole right here is the game mic. And then on the bottom side, we have yet another microphone. This is the main mic right here. As you can see, it's right there. USB-C port for charging. And this thing right here, this time it's actually the speaker. And if you're looking for the SIM tray, it's right here. And as you can see, this is a single tray. They really do need all of that internal space for graphics hardware. This is like a gaming PC that fits your palm. It's absolutely mind blowing if you ask me. So I hope you found this interesting. As always, I just love to assimilate all of the info, especially if it is an amazing phone like this one. And in my next vlog, I will finally get to a demo speakers cameras but of course also gaming so you can check it out right here looking forward to that guess i will see you there because that's it for this one smash that like button the way i will soon smash other gamers thanks to this phone <laughs> bang the bell like rah, pah. to never miss product reviews and check the recent news on chrisviral.com and yeah that's it for today i will see you tomorrow